Look at that, what's coming in from out the back there? They're in the wrong place, the wrong time. There's no way out. They're gone! We're f***ed, we're f***ed, we're f***ed. The Wild West Coast is living up to its reputation. But this hasn't deterred rowers in the annual Piha Big Wave Classic. And after a disastrous practice round, the Piha girls have been forced to pull out with injured rowers and a broken boat, with missing pumps and alarming cracks. That seem to be spreading, but never one to crack under the pressure is commentator Peter Brown. OK, let's see how the woman crews are going to go. Two minutes into the race, and the massive surf starts to take its toll. Firingy Bay. Oh, no, that's it. Back to the east coast. And the Myrangi Bay sweep realises that it's all over. We're f***ed. We're f***ed. That's Myrangi Bay. Abandoning their ship. Go on. Get out there, boys. Make sure they're OK. Look at that. Another boat in trouble. Same way. And the Beffles girls aren't faring any better. Can you see? There's a hand up in the middle there. Jet ski, pick him up. The Oriwa team are pumped up by their demanding sweep, but a single wave dashes their hopes. The sweep oar is snapped, and the girls are sunk. And it's abandoned ship for another East Coast team. There's only one team left in their boat. The brave girls from neighbouring Bethel's Beach. Look at that, what's coming in from out the back there? They're in the wrong place, the wrong time. There's no way out. They're gone! Every available rescue craft is on the scene in seconds. And the Bethel's boys race to save their boat and their girls. Their hands up, guys. Go, go, go. Hands up everywhere. Without a crew, the Bethel's boat is at the mercy of the Piha surf. And is already on a collision course, heading straight for the looming Lion Rock. As girls, sweeps and boat parts are brought to shore, the Bethel's boat is relentlessly pummeled against the rocks, causing further damage. At 30 grand for a replacement, they are doing everything they can to save her. It's been a traumatic event for the girls, and one of their own is seriously ill with water inhalation. Around the corner, the entire Bethel's men's crew try frantically to keep the boat off the rocks. The Bethel's men aren't giving up, and although they're going nowhere, they just won't let go. If the guys can keep the boat off the rocks just long enough, the jet ski can tow it back to shore. Crew member Kirsty is still feeling the effects of her ordeal, and Sean isn't buying her claims that she's OK. Kirsty may be out of the water, but the water, it seems, is not out of her. If you can hear a hissing noise when she breathes, there is the potential for further serious complications. One brave crew member has managed to climb on board. But with the boat still threatening to smash against the rocks at any second, he'll need more rowers and fast. Piha lifeguard Bruce has swum out to help out his West Coast friends. A brutal but not uncommon injury for surfboat rowers. For many, very painful. But for her, just an annoying temporary disfigurement. On the water, a miracle at sea. The boys have managed to row the stricken vessel off the rocks. The support crew races to North Piha. Against all odds, the Bethel's clubbies retrieve their prized possession. And while it's good to have the boat back, it's the people that matter the most, as the Bethel sweep is enveloped by his relieved family. And decides to give Lion Rock a bit of a kiss. Uh, and that sort of stopped the boat from going up on the rocks. But I think about 100 mile an hour take will fix that. If we've got some. 
that's going to need a little more than duct tape. And so ends the First Lady's race at the Pihar Big Wave Classic.